or um, fence. Okay, and these are all the stamps from the British countryside set, yeah. yes. And again, it's up to you. Um, I've done mine a bit higher than that, a bit lower than that one. It's your card, you know, put them where you you want to. Okay. Brilliant. Now we're going to use the sheet. Okay. And I'm going to put mine slightly to one side because then I've got room for a single sheep as well. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Okay. And then we have the single sheep, so if you like to ink that one, okay. you can put him in if you've got room. If you haven't, don't worry about it. I'm going to put mine, I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put him in just about there. There we go. How about I, that? That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. That's that, the stamping done. That's it. Dumb. How easy were those well, stamps to work so with? So far, yeah, okay. Oh. So what I've done on here, I've just scribbled some colours. Oh, look, you've put me in a palette. Thank yeah. you. And um, I was going to use aqua markers, but I bought the box that I didn't like. So we're using the the Zig um, Art and Graphic pens, oh, yes, the Kiritaki. These are brilliant. We'll put the details of those on the screen for you. There they are. Okay. Right. So what you need to do is you need to put plenty of water on because we, lots of water, more than that, because we just want to wash, we want it quite light, okay? How's that? And yeah, if they dry out on there, which they will with the studio lights, you just mix them again with okay. your water. Um, we're going to do quite a simple sky. We're just going to start at the top and put a wash over. If, you, if it's not flowing easily, just add more water. Now, I'm sure you know a lot more than, about clouds than I do. In fact, before my next show, I think I'm going to find out about clouds and see if I can do different cloud formations in the sky. What, like a cirro, cirrocumulus? That's it. Or That's it. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I don't, don't know enough about them at the moment. Okay. I'm a bit slower That's than you, okay. Um, when... When you've finished, if you think that, because you're working a little drier than me, okay. so if, um, if when you've finished, you just wet your paintbrush. Ah, uh, you want to create the clouds. And we want to yes. create the clouds. Okay. There's lots of ways of doing the skies. A lot of them are shown on my... So just swish over with that water. That's brilliant. And then pick up your bit of kitchen towel and the cloud formation is now up to you. You can have sort of, I'm, I'm going to have to do the same because I've been talking too much. There we are, go back in. Look, he's ahead of me. Uh, he's, uh, I don't need to do anything here. And that will dry slightly, that's brilliant. How's that? It, yeah, it, that will dry slightly lighter than it looks now and okay. you've got a fantastic cloud formation. Okay. Okay, we're going on to our green now. It's, this is because I'm, I like to... Green? Yeah, green. Um, and again, lots of water, and we just want to wash. We're going to do... Every, keep the houses clean, but apart from that, you can just put a wash. You don't need to keep the, the wall clean because we're going to be colouring over that. Oh, I'm going to keep the wall I don't clean. really want green sheep, but... Um, so try and go around the sheep if you can. If you do get green sheep, not the end of the world. So all I've done is, you know, I've gone over the whole lot. Oh, um, no, I'm going to go around the sheep. Yeah. Um, if you do accidentally go over a sheep, then flood the area with clean water and then pat it with your kitchen towel and the colour will come off out. It doesn't matter if this is a bit patchy because it's only a basis. This is only so that we don't have to colour every single bit. I'm going round the sheep, is that alright? Yeah, that's fine, that's brilliant. Yeah, I, I, it's a good idea to go round the sheep because it's quite difficult to get all the colour out. I'm going to turn this so that I can... You do realise, of course, that it is quite difficult for me to speak and do this at the same time. That's you all right. Might get a I few can natter on sort of forever. pauses, folks. <laughs> and Magic Ann said it's a nice break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be having a career brief after the show. What, what we don't want to be doing is working in an area that's that's very very wet. So um, you know, do the sky, and then you can go back into that area. Am I looking? You're brilliant. That's absolutely yeah? fantastic. Okay, right. Yeah. I'm happy with that so far then. Right. Okay. Um, okay, now we can work um, back into the top area. We don't want to work in this area because it's still going to be wet. Right. And I'm going to pick up some colour, one of the browns. It's up to you which brown, and I'll do the roof. Green. Use If you want it darker, use less water. If okay. you want it light, then use more water. And just do your roofs. You might just as well do your tree trunk while you're at it. And 
also just run a bit of colour along the stone wall. Oh, I'm going to do the wall in a different colour. Um, you can still change it, even if you do it now. OK. Um, it's just the base. It gives the base colour and then you don't have to, uh, you know, you can add to it and okay. change it slightly. Well, I'm going to be really clever here and I'm going to do the arms of the gate in the other brown. OK. Hey. Okay. Yep. How about that for creativity? Not that you'll notice, but... You will, actually. It will notice. All right. Here we go. OK, that's brilliant. I've done all the brown that's yep, needed, yep, yes. Yep. OK. Um, you've got some yellow on there, so put some water on it and just paint the houses, because we don't want them um, absolutely white. OK. You don't really want them yellow, I suppose, do I? No, bit... you want them just off-white, so... It's a bit, bit yellow, but if am it... I going over the windows here? Yeah, just go over the whole lot. No, I need more water. So, if, it, if it's too yellow for you, just do it with the water and dab it, and you'll take some of the colour out. That's better. That's better. OK. OK. okay. Yep, happy now with that. We're, now we're just going to carry on painting, so... Um, I'm going to paint in the green. We could actually use some of these colours direct if we want a stronger image. I'm painting the green of the trees here. Yeah. Okay, they but the, com to... the countryside is never one green. I was going to say, they seem to... I think I'm going to have to go over them because they're the, sort of the same green as my grass Yeah, here. that's fine. That's, that's, that's what we do next. We pick up a bit of different colours, so I'm putting a bit of brown into uh, mine. Here we go. And we can use some of the colours direct. So if you want to, you can just put a bit of colour in, like this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I've got here. Look, I'm using a tiny little bit of brown. And that's it. That of... changes it. And a little bit of yellow will change it as well. I'm pinching yours and I've got my own. Think... Right, use the thin end of... and just do some windows if you want to. Which the colour? Thin end, uh, yellow. OK. You don't have to, you know, you can do whatever you want to, but it's just a quick way of doing it. And I'm just going to go into one or two of my... But use the thin end of the, the brush. OK. The, oh, the, the red will be very bright, so uh, thin end, thin end, cause, because it's such, a, end. it's such a tiny, oh, gosh, tiny yes. area. I used the fat end on my windows, but never mind. OK. That's okay. right. It's only an impression anyway, so just put a bit of colour in. Oh, you've got two uh, red doors and a green door. I've got three red doors. Yeah. OK. Um, because the red is quite vibrant, you're actually looking at that first of all. Right, so we're OK as far as we go. Now, what you need to do is pick up your green pen. Yeah. And these are texture. So just um, colour these it... These are the stamps from the British countryside again, yes. Yeah, just colour on, on and just try it on a piece of paper. If you think it's too dark, and make sure it's gr 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 green grass side up, you're wrong way up. OK. Oops. They're quite juicy, so oh, you, yes. what you might need to do is... Um, I put far too much ink on to start with. Yeah, take the first image off. Yeah, OK. OK, so each time you colour, just take the first image off and then just put a little bit of te texture. It doesn't matter if it doesn't all come out. And it just creates a little bit of texture yep. on your 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 um <laughs> your board grass. already, Cameron upstairs. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, we we'll be quick. We'll be quick. No, 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 no. There's no need to be quick. We're doing. Look, there you go. How's that? Fantastic. Okay. Um, right, you've got more texture, so we'll use this little one okay. again. Colour on the back. My pen's drier than yours, so I can use mine direct. You need to take the first image off because yours is quite a wet yep. one. And just do it all across the bottom, but don't do it all one level. Do some off the page, well, some up, and build it up until you're happy with it. OK. By the way, all of you who are watching and not ordering, I'm expecting you, as soon as we finish this, to get your orders in, OK? <laughs> Otherwise, we won't do it again. Mm. How's that? <laughs> That's fantastic. And if you feel not that quite as good as yours, that one, I'm you, afraid. If you feel that you want a bit of colour in there, now go back with the red pen mm. and just do those dots at the t at the um, the top of, of, of on ah, there. Okay. Just that's it. Just do. But definitely, definitely, just take your first image off. 